Manchester United close to signing free agent Thomas Strakosha. Thomas Strakosha is close to joining Manchester United, with the goalkeeper available on a free transfer after leaving Lazio this summer. The Red Devils are looking for a new deputy for David De Gea after Dean Henderson moved to Nottingham Forest on loan in search of first-team football. The 27-year-old made 208 appearances for Lazio, the only permanent club of his career so far, with a loan spell at Salernitana in 2015-16. He wasn't a guaranteed starter at Lazio over the last two years, though, making just 32 Serie A starts in two campaigns, so he let his contract run down and expire this summer. Strakosha is not going to be getting a lot of first-team football at Old Trafford either, but TalkSport report that a deal is close to being agreed for him to sign for Manchester United. Born in Greece, the keeper has picked up 19 caps for Albania and has won silverware at Lazio, lifting the Coppa Italia in 2013 and 19. Henderson has gone on loan to Nottingham Forest on a season-long loan and it is not clear what will happen to him after that campaign with the newly promoted side. 31-year-old De Gea only has one year left on his current contract, although could be offered a new deal as he remains the clear first choice with the gloves. New manager Eric Ten Hag will make his decision on the position over the coming season as to whether he will stick with the Spaniard of place his faith in another stopper. Eric Ten Hag set to receive fresh snub after attempting to hijack Ajax transfer. Eric Ten Hag is set for a fresh transfer blow with Brian Brobby expected to sign for Ajax. The Dutch striker spent the second half of last season on loan at the Eredivisie champions where he forged a strong relationship with Manchester United's new manager. Ajax won't make the 20-year-old's move from RB Leipzig a permanent one, but Ten Hag is reported to have made an attempt to hijack that deal. According to the men, however, United Chiefs anticipate another transfer setback and believe Brobby will commit his future to Ajax. United arrived in America on Saturday, minus Cristiano Ronaldo whose future remains uncertain having asked to leave the club just 12 months after his emotional Old Trafford homecoming. The 37-year-old has reportedly been given indefinite leave for family reasons, but privately United are said to be willing to part company with last season's 24-goal top scorer if they receive an offer in the region of £14 million. United are said to have begun the process of sounding out potential replacements for Ronaldo, while Ten Hag is hopeful the ongoing speculation won't overshadow the start of preseason. Speaking ahead of his squad's flight to the Far East, Ten Hag said, Of course, I want to bring the energy in my team, but I must say, the players do really well. They are really focused. They bring, for themselves, the energy. You see they enjoy playing football. They enjoy playing football together and they really work well together. Eric Ten Hag tried and failed to keep Nemanja Matic at Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag suffered an early blow as Manchester United manager this summer as he tried and failed to convince Nemanja Matic to stay at the club. The veteran midfielder triggered an exit clause in his contract at the end of the season, leaving Old Trafford to link up with his former manager Jose Mourinho at Roma. Having not been a regular in the Red Devils' first team for the last three seasons, it was thought his exit was a mutual agreement between player and club but it is now reported that Ten Hag wanted him to stay. The Athletics state that the new boss wanted Matic to remain at Old Trafford for one more year as he saw him as a good influence on the dressing room, even if he was unlikely to be a regular face in the starting eleven. Ten Hag did not get his wish and he continues to battle to get the new signings in that he wants this summer as he looks to rebuild the Manchester United squad in his image. 22-year-old left-back Terrell Malaysia is the only arrival so far, signing from Feyenoord, but more signings are expected. Lissandro Martinez, Thomas Strakosha and Christian Eriksen are all expected to sign contracts at Old Trafford, while their pursuit of Barcelona's Frankie de Jong continues. An initial £65 million fee was agreed between the clubs for the Dutchman, but it is slow progress to iron out the many other details of the deal given the complicated, and outright bad, financial situation Barker are in. United remain very interested in the 25-year-old and hopeful of a deal, but the longer negotiations go on, the more frustrated they get. Manchester United have inquired with PSG for midfielder Leandro Paredes. Manchester United want to sign a new midfielder and whilst they're at a standstill in negotiations over a deal for Frankie de Jong, reports have now suggested that they have made an inquiry with PSG over the possibility of signing one of their midfielders. United have identified midfield as a must-improve option this summer with players such as de Jong and Eriksen already being targeted, however the Red Devils are at a standstill with the recruitment process on both deals. 
De Jong has been the subject of weeks of conversations between United and Barcelona and now the Red Devils may be looking to move on to other alternatives with a much lower price tag. According to a new report from French media outlet, Le Quipe, Manchester United have inquired with PSG for Leandro Paredes, his €35 million Euros asking price is complicating talks. This report would suggest that United could possibly move for Paredes alongside other targets and rather a deal for the Argentine may not be taken due to the price tag of the player. The 28-year-old right-footed central midfielder is also known to be able to play defensive midfield, a position that United supporters have been crying out for improvements in. With the stalling of the De Jong deal, it'll be interesting to see what options United turn to explore as a second option. Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United haven't spoken to Ajax about Anthony. Despite reports in past weeks that have linked close talks between Manchester United and Ajax for Anthony, a new report has stated that contrary to those reports, neither United or Eric Ten Hag are yet to speak to the Dutch champions about the winger. Anthony is a player that Ten Hag is known to admire and in previous weeks, the player was subject to quite intense links to United as the Red Devils look to bolster their attacking options. Many reports have suggested that talks between United and Ajax over Anthony had even reached the stages of a fee being discussed which was reportedly far off what United could pay anyway. Anthony is a talented player that would prove to be a great option on paper for United, having a left-footed right winger would be perfect for the front three system. However Ajax would be looking for around €80 million Euros for the player according to multiple reports which, with United's other business this summer would price them out of a move. However, United and Ajax may not even be that close in negotiations as a report has suggested that neither United or Ten Hag have spoken to Ajax over Anthony. Steve Bates of the Sunday People has reported, Eric Ten Hag and are yet to speak to Ajax about Anthony. Ten Hag is awaiting developments on Cristiano Ronaldo's future. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.